So to understand cloud computing, we need to look at the evolution of cloud hosting going all the way back to 1995, where if you wanted to host your website or web app, you'd have to get a dedicated server. So that would be one physical machine dedicated to a single business running a single project, a site or an app. And as you can imagine, these are expensive because you have to uh, buy outright the hardware, have a place to store it, the network connection, having a person to maintain it. Um, but it did give you a guarantee of high security um, and they still do as of today. So this model hasn't gone away, but it's been specialized for a particular use case. Then came along the virtual private server. So the idea is we still had one physical machine, but now we were able to subdivide um, our machine into submachines via virtualization. And so essentially you're running a machine within a machine. And so you had better utilization of that machine um, running multiple web apps as opposed to having a physical machine per project. So you got better utilization and isolation of resources. And so uh, these two options still required you to purchase a machine, a dedicated machine. And so that was still kind of expensive, but then came along shared hosting. And so if you remember uh, the mid 2000s, like with GoDaddy or HostGator or any of those sites uh, where you had really cheap hosting, the idea is that you had this one physical machine shared by hundreds of businesses. And the way this worked, it relied on uh, tenants underutilizing their resources. So, you know, you wouldn't have a submachine in there, but you'd have a folder with permissions that you could use. Um, and so you would really share the cost. And this was very, very cheap. Um, but you were limited to whatever that uh, machine could do, and you were very restricted in terms of the functionality you had. And there was just poor isolation, meaning that you know if one person decided to utilize the server more, they could hang up all the all the websites on that single server. Then came along cloud hosting, and the idea is that you have um, multiple physical machines that act as one system. So this is distributed computing, and so the system is abstracted into multiple cloud services. And the idea is that you basically get the advantages of a lot of the things above. So it's flexible, you can just add more servers, um, it's scalable, it's very secure because you get that uh, virtual isolation. You get it extremely at a low cost because you're sharing that cost with the users where in the shared hosting, it might be hundreds of businesses, we're looking at thousands of businesses. And it was also highly configurable because it was a full virtual machine. Now. Uh, cloud actually uh, still includes all of these types of hosting. They haven't gone away, uh, but it's just the idea that you now have more of a selection for your use case. Uh, but hopefully that gives you an idea uh, what cloud hosting looks like, and it really has to come down to distributed computing, okay?